ladies and gentlemen, this is Nevin from Nev's Tech Bits, and I want to show you today some of the awesome things that you can do with your Chromecast. So first things first, you want to go onto the App Store and download Google Home. Google Home will give you this app that you can see. And then when you open it up, it'll give you some easy things that you can download, easy things that you can play. And it shows you the apps that you have that automatically work with it. Come on over here, you will be able to see your options. Most importantly, what I want to show you is uh, this, the cast screen slash audio. If you press that, your screen will be projected directly onto the TV. So here we can see one of the most popular uses of having a Chromecast is uh, playing Kodi through your Android unit. Here you can see I'm playing this right off my phone but one thing you should know is this is going to take extra bandwidth from your system and it's also going to take extra batteries from your cell phone and the reason that is is because instead of reaching out directly to the internet to get this information in this case it's reaching out to your cell phone to get the information your cell phone and this unit are going to be in constant communication which is going to be an extra drain however if you were on YouTube for example you would be just fine because uh, YouTube would be going directly to the Chromecast and not this phone anyways as you can see here I'm getting some lags this is on an s5 Galaxy s5 and uh, the s7 just came out but if you've used Kodi before you know sometimes Kodi can also be the problem one thing I did run into with this is the system just shut itself down uh, when I was in the middle of the video Actually, I shouldn't say it shut itself down. It went to black and it stayed black. I had to go unlock my phone again, but I don't know why it locked up. Of course, you have your ever-present DoodleCast app. You can use that to just draw around, keep the kids uh, happy. Uh, keep them shut up for a few minutes. Let's get a smiley face in there. That's what I'm talking about. Next up we have Alien Invader, totally not a knockoff of Space Invaders at all. Kinda laggy, all the games are a little bit laggy. There's a, there's a definite pause when you press a button as to when uh, the unit on the screen moves. But I digress, it's free so I can't complain. So on these games I should mention, uh, your cell phone becomes your remote control. Next off we have Bomberman. Uh, a shameless knockoff of uh, the video game of the same name. You can have a multiplayer game here or you can play survival and that's what I'm playing right here. It's a little bit of a lag of course just like all the other games but still fun. If I was a kid I'd get right into this but I hate having the soft remotes. Of course your cell phone once again is your remote control here and I like having buttons. Buttons help me figure out just what I'm doing, where I am. Thought I'd try a little bit of Carmageddon and see what it looked like on the screen. Good times, good memories of Carmageddon, but again, with the soft uh, remote control, I just don't know what's going on. I'm sure I could uh, get some adapters to hook a real one up, but I'm not doing that right now. Of course, naturally, you can cast your music library to whatever you got your Chromecast hooked up to. You can also cast what's on your computer screen if you use the Google Cast app from Chrome. You can easily find this. Just search in Google for the Google Cast. It'll take you directly to uh, the Chrome store, chrome.google.com. And of course you just install that extension. This is exactly how it's done. Uh, I'm just doing it myself here. Added to Chrome. So, okay, we're done. We're done, and then I can press this. Cast two, that's me. So you can't see it right now, but my screen at the moment is being cast to my television. Okay, so you can have this set up so that you will cast just what's on Chrome. By default, this app is only supposed to show what's on Chrome, but there is a beta that you can cast your your entire desktop by selecting it like that share and then my entire desktop is now on my TV screen 
And again, this is kind of a beta thing, but I've never had any problems with it. This is uh, this could also be a great way to cast uh, Cody to your TV or cast anything that you have on your computer to it. So that's it for me. That's about all the best stuff that I could find. Anyways, definitely worth the price. Definitely worth checking out the Google Chromecast. Have a good one, guys. Catch you later.